On behalf of the Harris County Sheriff's Office, Deputy Esqueda's mom, dad, siblings, nephews, nieces, cousins, his fiance Emily, extended, extended family members and fellow co-workers, we thank all of you for being here today. I was speaking to Fernando's mom uh, and she was sharing with me a story that she once had a conversation with her son and he mentioned then that if he were to ever die that he wanted his funeral to be a huge beautiful celebration. In fact his exact words is that he wanted it to be bad and then a three letter word that starts with the letter A. I can't say it here in church. but. I think we've accomplished that. I think the turnout here today, thanks to all of you, is indicative of the life he lived and the so many lives that he touched in his short years. So let's give a big round of applause to Fernando. Um, in fact, let's give him a standing ovation, please. Kathy, I think that was pretty bad. We want to thank the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston, Church for hosting the viewing last night, and also the Co-Cathedral of the Sacred Heart for hosting today's beautiful service. We extend our gratitude to Memorial Oaks Funeral Services for the care and attention they provided. We appreciate everyone for attending today the dignitaries, and all visiting law enforcement and visiting Honor Guard and Bagpipe members. We have people here today from as far away as Boston PD, Chicago PD, Dallas PD, New York Police Department, and so many others. I want to thank our family assistance team and the Pas Pasadena Police Department for all their efforts in support of this wonderful family. We also express our gratitude to all our brothers and sisters in blue for working tirelessly to make sure that his accused killers were apprehended, and when they were apprehended, that they each wore Fernando's handcuffs. It was a multi-agency effort that included local, state, and federal partners and the district attorney's office. Thank you all. It was crime fighting at its best. Fernando would have been so proud. Thank you all. We all gather here today with heavy hearts but we also gather here to celebrate. Yes, we celebrate the amazing life of a hero. At 28 years of age, gone far too soon, yet he packed more in those 28 years that some of us will do in a lifetime. 28 years, such a short amount of time. We're filled with sadness when we think of the potential that was never realized. So much more to do, from getting married to having children, and so much more. The sky was the limit for this young man, for this hero. And his passing is not only a loss for our agency, but for this entire community. Deputy Esqueda was loved by everyone. Take a look around. Again, the turnout here is indicative of how much love and respect he had from everyone. It doesn't take too long to realize that Nando was one of a kind. He was the life of the party. And as his sister Vanessa described him, he had an electric personality. He truly did. You couldn't help but be drawn to him. He loved his family and friends unconditionally, and we all loved him back. He was a proud American. He was an accomplished musician, a drummer. But he was also a humble person that never forgot his upbringing and his roots. He always kept them near and dear to him. Professionally, as a deputy, he was also a cut above the rest. We wish we could clone him. He was an amazing crime fighter and had the heart of a warrior. He loved being a deputy. He loved to serve and protect. Talked to various colleagues that worked with him in different stages of his career, from District 3 patrol to District 2, and almost to each one of them, they all just described him as, humor, 
always ready to go, go, go. He wanted to go out there and just protect and serve the community. To his parents, y'all raised him right. Y'all raised an amazing young man. And today, our community is safer because Deputy did so until his final breath. He made the ultimate to others. And I want to recognize members of our Elite Violent Persons Task Force, Fernando's last duty assignment. They're a special bunch that are dedicated in going after the worst offenders in our community. They're also a tight unit, and Fernando's loss has been extremely hard on them. I ask that we keep them in our prayers. I call upon all of this unit to remain close and support one another. If you're a member of Viper, if you could please stand up and be recognized, please. We know that, that Nando loved you guys, and we know that you loved him, and thank you. Thank you. And I ask that we continue to pray for all law enforcement officers, communication officers, professional staff, correctional officers, firefighters, first responders, and service members, for all the, those that serve daily so that we may live in peace and freedom. Today and always, let us back the blue. Let's back the blue so that the sacrifices made by Deputy Esqueda and all that continue to serve will never be in vain. To his family, we extend our deepest condolences. We know that words alone are insufficient at a moment like this, but please know that you are not alone. Our agency and this entire community loves and supports you, and we understand that his ultimate sacrifice is the debt that we can never repay, but we promise to never forget. May God give you the strength and comfort to endure not only now, but for the long haul, and we'll stand with you through the long haul. And I encourage all of those here today to continue to support this beautiful family. Briefly in Spanish, a todos los que nos acompañan aquí esta mañana, gracias por estar aquí. Les acompañamos, el, 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 les ofrecemos nuestro más sentido pésame. Sabemos que Fernando estaba muy orgulloso de sus raíces. Tiene mucha familia en la República de México que nos acompañan aquí también. Y gracias por por ser parte de su vida, por Compartirlo con nosotros. Él fue un héroe, un gran hombre, una gran persona y nunca será olvidado. Y entonces nosotros estamos aquí para acompañarlos, para seguir la trayectoria que él ya comenzó. Es el deber de nosotros continuarlo y entendemos que es un sacrificio que él hizo en proteger su comunidad que nunca la vamos a poder pagar. Pero estamos aquí para acompañarlos y de nuevo les damos nuestras oraciones. In moments like this, I'm reminded of a quote by the late Queen Elizabeth. Grief is the price we pay for love. Yes, we grieve and we're broken because we love Nando. We love Fernando Esqueda. We know he leaves a void that can never be filled. But our faith tell us, tells us that he did not die in vain. For blessed are the peacekeepers, for they will be called children of God. And we could take comfort in knowing that Fernando was a man of faith, a man of God. I call your attention to the, the program here, and you'll find one of Fernando's writings, and I think it's so telling and so profound. He wrote this at the age of only 24 years old. And in some ways, it kind of reads like a, like a mini obituary, kind of laying out what some of his life was, but some things really struck me in that, and I want to call you on that when I mentioned that he was a man of faith, because these were his words, not my words, not anyone else's words, his words. He mentions in there, the man upstairs, that losing his truck was a blessing, using the word blessing, talking about struggling to juggling work and the police academy. He knew about sacrifice. He knew about resilience. He mentions toward the bottom that if the Lord allows it, if the Lord allows it, again, referencing the Lord. Yes, he wanted to retire Harris County Sheriff's Office deputy. I am, he, he mentioned, and I quote, I am strong-willed and goal-oriented. And yes, he was. He packed so much in those 28 years. And he ends with something that we should all aspire. Your purpose is only known by your heart. Speaking about purpose and speaking about heart, and Fernando Esqueda had the heart of a lion.
May we leave here today listening to those words, reflecting on the memory of Fernando, and may we leave here today and become a better version of ourselves. Let's aspire for greatness like Fernando did. Let's realize that time is fleeting and waits for no one. Let's live with greater sense of urgency and purpose as he did. We must all remember that tomorrow is not promised and we must live each day like it is our last, just as Fernando did. Remember, remember that everyone in your life will have a last day with you and you don't even know it, when that will be. So let's embrace each moment we have with one another and let's love each other deeper and stronger. Deputy Fernando Esqueda was a hero and he will never be forgotten. In life, he guarded the streets of this county. In death, he guards the heavenly gates. Well done, Fernando. We'll take the watch from him.